the more our data and assets are centralized on that great tool that is a spot, the more efficient, relevant, and complete a spot will be. And it's by understanding this that hosting your blog on a spot sounds like a no-brainer. You will be able to benefit from a very simple tool to use to write, correct, optimize, and schedule your blogs directly on your portal and benefit from a much more accessible analysis capacity than for a standard CMS. In this video, we'll see how to set up your blog and how to publish an article with the help of your Uspot portal. So the first thing to do is to go to settings, scroll all the way down, go to tools, websites, blog. On this page, you will see all the different options available for your blog. The first thing you need to understand is you can create several blogs, but you need CMS Enterprise. Per default, you will have only one blog named blog. But you can create a multi-language variations for this blog if you write like me in French and English, for instance. So you can click here, click on add or edit multi-language. Primary will be English and you can add French like that. And now you have a bilingual blog. And then you will be able to play with the internal name, the one that will show on your HubSpot. So for instance, the blog header, the name that will appear on the top of each blog pages and the blog titles that will be displayed in internet browsers. You can also add a meta description to help your blog to rank on Google and you can change the URL of your blog. So if you saw my video on landing pages, you know that you can create subdomain or connect a different domain directly on a spot to host your blog on it. And you can also change the slug. So let's say you don't like blog, but you want articles. You can do that or you can put the name you want. And you need to know that when you will create a blog in English, it will be like blog slash en slash how to, I don't know the name of your article. So just put the slug you want and now you can choose if you want your blog to be public or if you want it to be reserved to a specific list of your CRM. So you can create a list and select the list of people that will be able to access to your blog post. Once you're happy with your settings, click on save and it's time to move to the template. Same as the landing pages, it's important when you host some content on a spot to have a good theme and a good template. Basically, they will help you to have some different features and to have a global default visual for your blog and your blog post. If you want to change your template, you can go to actions, change templates, and you will be able to go to marketplace to download the one that makes you feel happy. You will also be able to change some display options on the blog listing page and add some uh, HTML tags. Then you will be able to deal with the notification for subscribers and the RSS feed. You will be able to change the date formats to play with common social sharing and Google AMP. Once you're done with all these settings, you're ready to create your first blog post. Just a quick break to inform you that this video is part of a free training focusing on how to set up your Uspot portal in the most efficient way possible. This free training will be divided into seven big modules, each addressing a specific key point of your Uspot portal. And each module consists into several videos that will go deeper into a specific functionality or feature of your Uspot portal. If it's not already the case when you watch this video, the videos in this series will be published gradually and they will be added to this specific playlist. I have also prepared a private web page bringing together all the different content of this free training and some additional bonus content. So to benefit of this free content and to be notified for every new chapter that is releasing, I invite you to click on the link in the description below. All your blog posts will be classified under marketing, website, blog. You will see the list of all the different articles you already post, but we don't have any yet, so let's start from scratch. And here, basically, is not that difficult to understand, is mostly working like a Google Doc file. So you can just change the title, write your blog posts, you can insert call to action, videos, tables, special characters, you can play with visuals like image or videos you can insert links uh, emojis you can play with the font etc and you can also add some different modules so you can add like the recent post or a specific list for your blog basically you can add all the different modules that your template allow you to do 
And once you're happy about what you wrote, you can just check with HubSpot if it's optimized for SEO ranking. They will give you a lot of different recommendations to give you higher chance to rank on Google. And if basically you need to check if everything is in the green, if it's the case, you're ready to publish. But before publishing, you need to play with the settings. So you can change the title of your blog. You can change the uh, URL and the content slug. You can choose an author. You need to know that in a spot you need to choose an offer when you write a blog post if not you will not be able to publish it you can choose to add a featured image when you share it to uh, social media for instance but you can turn it off if you don't want you can add a meta description and you can ask ai to do it for you you can choose a campaign but we we'll see that in a new video you can edit and modify your templates if needed and you can choose the language of the blog post and once everything is done, you just need to click on publish. Or if you want to schedule it for next week, you can click on publishing option, schedule publish for later, change the date and choose the time you want. You click on schedule and your blog post is ready to go. And you can see on the blog listing page that it's here. If you click on it when it's published, you will be able to edit it here, promote it through social media or through ad campaign. But mostly you will see all the different um, data as what we collect for you, such as the number of visits, the time spent on the blog post, the number of clicks, etc, etc. I hope you enjoy this video. If it's the case, don't forget to put a thumbs up, to subscribe to this channel and to save this playlist to make sure you don't miss any new chapter of this free training. And don't forget the link in the description below that gives you this free access to all the content of this free training plus more additional content on how to set up your Uspot portal in the most efficient way possible. For those who are discovering me through this video, I'm Grégoire, Uspot expert for more than seven years now, and I will see you very soon for more Uspot tips.